change the settings, okay? Yeah, our internet is tricky, yeah. just like last week. I don't know why. And it, it only gets so tricky on Sabbath it morning. Settings. Yeah. And don't are you admitting man- people again? All right. Okay, so hold on. I think we're live now on Facebook. And welcome to our Facebook friends who have joined in. Um, we might have been live for a few more minutes and we didn't realize yeah. it. People were talking about being hungry and some had breakfast at 6 a.m. At 6. Yeah, but anyways, welcome guys and welcome to our Children's Sabbath School. We'll, we're going to be starting in one minute, in one minute. We're just trying to make sure that everybody has access to what we are doing. So we are sharing it to all the other pages. Please forgive us as usual if the internet acts funny, okay? But just know that it is beyond our control. <laughs> we are doing the best we can with what we have, okay? But otherwise, let's just pray that the internet will stay stable behave. today. We'll behave. Now, while we are still here, I still need you guys to be practicing. Remember those Miredo songs? I haven't been receiving any videos from you except people saying, hey, this is hard or this is nice, you know? But I'm hoping to start seeing some videos, guys, okay? So please send us some videos, okay? um that's what i wanted to remind you of okay so i'm just sharing on the last page that we usually share with if it says it's okay then we are good to go all right it says i have posted into the other page so i believe we are good to go all right thank you so much guys for joining in now until far it's always your choice to find someone to pray for yeah, us yeah. at the beginning. There's plenty of people. I'm find? seeing many people. I see. Is that Amante? Wave Amante. Amante Madinet. Yes, Amante is waving. I see Mana has joined us. Actually, <laughs> I haven't had Mana say so it. Yeah, I see Zaza and her friend in Australia. <laughs> Okay, all right. And I see the Chewes have also joined in. Kawe is in Orapa. There he is. Um, so please just choose two people that can pray for us that haven't I'll prayed. Dorako, you've prayed before. Don't raise your hand and say shy and yes. <laughs> If you know you've prayed, don't raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> all right. So please. Mana. Mana. Mana is joining in. I think she should. Anyway. Yeah, no, she's here. Because I, I saw her. Can you unmute yourself, yes. Mana? Mana. Mana is with Martha. And Daddy. I see Daddy also is Jay. <laughs> Daddy is also hey. here. <laughs> Mana, um, could you kindly pray for us, my girl? As check if she can unmute friend. herself. Yes. Uh, I can't. I don't see her microphone. I just see her video. Uh, yes. Me yeah, I think she's yeah. gonna she's gonna struggle with her sound. So, I think try and find. Um, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this well. Mashingaize. Mashingaize. Are you there, Mashingaize? <laughs> I think. Uh, your mic is muted. I mean, her mic is muted. So. Yes. I can only ask. All right, can you can you unmute your mic? I am muted. Yes, yes, yes. Are you able to pray for us, dear? Yes. Okay. All right, guys, let's bow our heads as we pray. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful Sabbath. Bless us and accept our worship in you. Help us to understand your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Sorry, what's your name again? Yes. Anoti Daishi. Pardon? Anoti Daishi. Anoti Daishi. Okay, so we can just call you Anu, right? Yes. <laughs> Where are you joining us from, Anu? From Francis Town. Ah, all right. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you, Anna, for joining us. 
Um, and yes, sir. Um, it's time for singing. Are you going to be joining me this side? I hope you will. Because <laughs> I, I, I can't sing. <laughs> yes, you can. No, wait, that, guys, I agree. You know, Antirofa is the one who Uncle always Sunny, helps. You can. No, yes. but not as nice as Antirofa Sunny, does. You can. Okay, okay, okay. I'll try and sing also with you guys. But Antirofa is always the one who makes it sound nice when we sing. Where's Antilolo? Antilolo is not here today. I'm looking for it. Guys, can you see Antilolo on your screen? If she's there somewhere, she could help Antirofa with admitting people. Hello. Okay, so we are together, guys. Antirofa is going to be joining me in like 30 seconds. Take, grab a chair. Grab a chair. All right, so Antirofa is here to join me again. So you can focus on my screen now. Focus on my screen, okay? <laughs> focus on my screen. And we are going to be doing the song, the B-I-B-L-E. Do you guys know how to spell B-I-B-L-E? What does it spell? Bible. Yes, my Bible. <laughs> okay, all right. So can you just increase the volume on our speaker a little bit? Um, and then we're going to sing it together, okay? The B-I-B-L-E, that's what we're going to be singing together. And by the way, remember, this is there in our... Do you remember the Let Us Sing album? Actually, I have it near me. If you guys don't have this, you should get it as quickly as possible. <laughs> so that you can practice all the songs with the instrumentals. All right, so here we go. The B-I-B-L-E, and Tilfa is gonna be helping us sing. Let me try and increase this up. All right, can you hear that? All right, let's sing together. Let's go. Those are trumpets. Let's sing. I have a wonderful treasure, the gift from God without measure. And so we travel together. Ma Show me your Bible. And I Let me see it. Let's go. I have the wonderful treasure. Savior, uh -huh. to be into his favor and tell with all my behavior since I made him mine. Hold your Bible and let's march. Let's go. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand up by the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E, the B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone by the word of God, the B-I-B. Together, Bible. That's not a Bible. <laughs> and, and my, uh, wait, wait, just here. You can it here. Okay, all right, guys. I didn't see your Bibles. Show me your Bibles on your screen. Let me see. I'm looking now. All right, what? let me see your Bibles. Zaza, I can't see your Bibles. Why are you hiding your Bibles, guys? Let's see, let's see. Uh -huh. Zaza is busy writing now. Not sure we have Bible. Okay. Who else? Bobo. Ah, they can see your Bible. Okay. Most of us have our Bibles, okay? Most of us have our Bible. That's good. Okay, so one more song and then we get straight into it. Okay. Still from the letter sing volume one. Just to warm us up because it's early and cloudy here in Khaboroni. Um, we're going to do the Sea of Galilee. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, guys are ready. Okay, now you can place your Bibles down and then remember the actions. Sea of Galilee, okay? Then there's a what? A boat, there's a boat. Everybody, boat, remember the boat? Okay, then there are men in the boat in the Sea of Galilee. From there, we've got hands of the men in the boat in the Sea of Galilee. Then from there we have 
nets in the hands of the men in the boat in the sea of galilee then we've got fish in the nets in the hands of the men in the boat in the sea of galilee good after the fish there's a coin there was a coin in the fish in the nets in the hands of the men in the in the sea of galilee go i can't see you practicing dude <laughs> does yes then we've got the face on the coin in the in the in the of the uh uh, uh. <laughs> all right now you guys remember for those who are new keep practicing guys okay sea of galilee let's find it and antofa is going to be helping me sing that also all right here we go Let's go. There's a sea of Galilee. There's a sea of Galilee. There's a sea. There's a sea. There's a sea of Galilee. There's a boat in the sea of Galilee. Aha. There's a boat in the sea of Galilee. There's a boat. There's a boat. There's a boat in the sea of Galilee. Yeah, man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. That man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. Keep your mic muted. Keep your mic muted. The hand of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. Mic muted, guys. Boat in the sea of Galilee. Yeah, hands. Yeah, hands. Yeah, hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. Good. That nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. That nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. Yeah, nets. Yeah, nets. Yeah, nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. Fish. That fish in the nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. That fish in the nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. That fish, that fish, that fish in the nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. Coin. Sea of Galilee. A coin in the fish in the nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. Coin. 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 Fish in the nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. Face. Face in the coin in the fish in the nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. Face. Face in the coin in the fish in the nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. Face. Face. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, did, I can even do it backwards. Ah, that's good. That's good, guys. That's good. Keep practicing. Get it, you get it okay? Keep practicing until you get it. All right. So, thank you, Antofa, for helping us sing so nicely. Um. Now, most of you should keep practicing that Sea of Galilee. There were too many mistakes there. Uh, Junior, I can see Junior. You guys like unmuting your mics. Please don't do that, okay? <laughs> and then Mr. Wanto, stop playing with your virtual background, okay? <laughs> stop playing with your virtual background, okay? All right, so today we're going to be doing a craft together, okay? And as we get into this craft, we are going to, as I told you, you're going to need a pencil or a pen. You're going to need a piece of paper. This time, don't use a book, just a piece of paper. And after this, you can color it in, and then you're going to have to cut it out. Okay, you're going to have to cut it out. So we've been learning about music, okay? And so what we're going to create, and I want you to do this for the next, is it going to be three, less, three lessons? Yeah, I think three lessons. We've got three more lessons on music. Then we have to do something different, okay? We're going to make what we call a wall of sound. Now, as I'm speaking to you, is until can until for hear me? Until yes, for can I you can. hear me? Yes. Yes. Can I, can I can I have a piece of paper? I realize you didn't bring me a piece of paper for for the craft. Okay. All right. So remember, we're gonna make what we call a wall of sound or a wall of music okay so i want you to choose a wall in your bedroom okay it, it shouldn't be in the sitting room don't choose your mommy's wall or 
that is all. No, it has to be in your own bedroom, okay? A place where you can stick stuff on. All right. Not if you understand what I'm saying, Keba. Not if you understand. Yeah, please don't, <laughs> don't go and stick stuff in the kitchen or in the sitting room or dining room. No, it has to be in your own bedroom. Um, unless mommy and daddy allow you to, okay? Unless mommy and daddy allow you to. So besides that, we're going to make a wall of music or a wall of sound. On there, we're going to make little nuggets. We call them music nuggets. Things that we are learning, little words, a verse or two, and we're going to stick them on that wall. And these are the things we're going to have to remember, guys. These are the things we're going to have to learn all the time, okay? And for those who are joining in for the first time, welcome. And for those who may not know this, um, Zoom has decided that everybody has to get into a waiting room before they join so that we don't have people who are not here to, you know, to participate in class, but rather here to, to really disturb us. So that way, that's why today you had to wait in the waiting room. But what can happen is that as I register you, you guys can start joining in just like before. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Um, well, we've got about two more minutes. For the next two minutes, uh, what I want you to do, if you can type on the chat, okay? I want you to write your name on the chat and write where you are, okay? Where you're joining us from. So basically all you do, you say Uncle Tswani and you say Khabaroni, okay? That's what you do. Because today I'm in Khabaroni. I'm not at the farm in Rasesa. So. I'm going to write Uncle Tony Khabaroni. So just do that because after this, I'll be able to register all your names and just know who's who and keep up so that you don't have to wait in the waiting area. Okay, so I'm going to just give you a minute to be doing that. Everybody who can do the chat, just continue doing. Otherwise, I'm going to be admitting people to the chat as we go on and on. All right, so I've got my piece of paper. I hope you've got yours. Even our Facebook friends, I hope you have yours. And I'm going to be using a marker so that you guys can see better. Um, Auntie Rufa will help me out later on. Now, this craft, it means it's going to continue until the end of our music series. Then you have to take a picture of your wall of music so that we can see how your wall looks like. And you'll get to see how my wall looks like, okay? And on this wall, we're going to put all the things we need to remember about music okay that's what we're going to be doing so first of all uh, i hope you guys are still registering on the chat just keep doing that as we continue so on your paper i'm going to ask you a question and i want somebody to answer now you're going to have to answer by raising your hand um or yeah you can't write on the chat so that we keep the chat for the registration first okay don't write on the chat yet so the first question, what is our memory text for music? Do you guys remember for our series? All right, I see Kako has raised his hand first. Please unmute yourself and tell us the memory text. Philippians 4 verse 8. Thank you so much. And you got it right. Philippians 4 verse 8. That is the first thing we're going to have to write down on our nugget. So take your piece of paper. Okay, and then on it, write Philippians, Philippians. Can you spell it for us, Uncle Tony? Do I even know how to spell it? We'll check in our Bibles, check in your Bibles. But I wrote P-H-I-L-L-I-P-I-A-N-S. Check in your Bibles, guys. That's why we have our Bibles, okay? Go to the index so that we confirm the spelling. Did I even spell it right? Let me just check. What is the index? Ah, I missed it. It's a double P. It's a double P, not double L, okay? It's a double P, not double L. So P-H-I-L-I-double-P-I-A-N-S. That's what you're supposed to write. Philippians, and then you write 4 verse 8. Philippians 4 verse 8. And what I want you to do after you write it down, is draw a shape, any type of shape, okay? 
any type of shape. You can put it in a triangle. You can put it in a cloud. You can put it in a, uh, what do you call it? A trapezium. <laughs> you can put it basically any shape you want to. You have to decide how it looks, okay? For example, I'm going to show you mine. I'm going to try and move closer to the screen. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, can okay. you guys see this? It's like a cloud. It's like a cloud, Red. right? I don't even know what shape that is. It's only pink. <laughs> yeah, because my marker is, is, is kind of, is it pink? It's red. red. Pink is for girls. It's red. <laughs> 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 all right. So, so guys. Not all girls like pink. Okay, but I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> okay, I get that. All right. So that's my Philippians 4 verse 8. That is our first nugget. Okay. That is our first nugget. Now, if you remember, I hope you're, draw you're drawing it. I'm going to now try and share my screen so that you guys can see the nugget itself. Uh, so here we go. Let's share my screen and see if it actually works out for me. Uh, okay. Let me just go back at it again and try and share my screen with everything up and running. Ah, there it is. Okay, so now you guys are looking at the Music Nugget Craft, okay? It's written Wall of Sound. I hope you can see that. And then Uncle Tiny at the bottom, meaning he's the one who wrote this right now, okay? All right, so nugget number one. Remember, an Adventist should always check the music they listen to using what? Philippians 4 verse 8, okay? So as I said before, we have to remember this. In three weeks, I will be checking if we know our memory text. This is the one we have to put in our head. Remember, it's quite long. So you have to make sure you kind of do your best to actually learn it, okay? All right, you remember? Finally, brethren, we have to remember all those things. Pure, honest, full of virtue, all those things. They have to be on ahead and in order. So after you write your nugget, you can color it in, but you can do that later after class. Color it in and then cut it out, okay? Cut it out and then stick it on your wall of sound. You can use Bostick, you can use cello tape, but just make sure you use something that doesn't ruin the wall, okay? So ask mommy or ask daddy or big brother, or big sister to help you, especially with the sticking of it, okay? So make sure you put it on one of the walls, okay? So that was the first nugget. Are we together? That was the first nugget. Let's go to our second nugget. Second nugget. Um, can I have Paco? Can you read it for us? Paco is here. I see Paco. Can you read it for us, dude? Yes, sir. Yes, please read it for us. An Adventist should always remember that music can be blessing or terrible or a terrible curse. Yes. Now that is our second nugget. Music can be a blessing or a terrible curse. So all you write are the two important words in there, all right? So you write blessing, you write the word blessing, and then you say or curse, okay? That's what you write. And remember, you can put it in any shape you want. I'm gonna make a rectangle, um, but my table is not straight, so it's a weird rectangle. So that's the second nugget. Nugget number two, let me show you. Uh, there it is, blessing or curse. I hope you can see it. I think you can see it, yeah, all right? Okay, thank you, Antirofa. <laughs> I'm really glad you're here. You're helping me out because I'm never sure. So blessing or curse, okay? Blessing or curse. Um, all right, some people are taking a bit long to join in in the waiting room. I don't know if you noticed that, Antirofa. Yes, it keep, uh, Leanne, Oh, it keeps Leanne kicking them out? Yeah, it keeps kicking them out. Oh, okay, so it's not on our side. Okay, I just want to make sure that it's... And for those who just joined in, remember, as you join in, type in your name and type in where you are, okay? Type in where you are. That way we can always start registering you. Next time you don't need to wait in the waiting room, okay? So just type in and tell us where you are. Okay, all right, so that was nugget number two, nugget number two. Now, let me find somebody else. I see 
Um, well, I don't see her, but I see her picture. Melissa Mkwati. Melissa, I can see you. Can you see me and can you hear me? If you're there, yes. you're, you're going to read for us nugget number three. And nugget number three has three points, okay? Nugget number three has three points. Yes. So please read it for us, dear. An Adventist will avoid music that has, one, tried too much repetition, two, sentimentality based <laughs> on just feelings and emotions more than thoughts. Uh -huh. Number three, frivolity, lack of seriousness. Aha. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And thank you, Melissa, for that. Thank you for that. Now, remember uh -huh. those big words we were learning together? An Adventist should avoid music that has too much repetition based on just feelings and emotions with no thinking. We don't want such type of music. And then music that lacks any sort of seriousness, okay? So what we're going to be doing, remember what I said, what we're going to be doing, we are making our wall of music. So we're going to write three letters on the, I mean, three words on the next nugget, okay? And by the way, I'm teaching you big words so that you remember what they mean and you can use them in school. The first word we're going to write is trite, right? Trite, trite. Trite means too much repetition. Music that keeps repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating. T-R-I-T-E, it's there on my screen. If you can see my screen, you can see it, okay? Trite. All right, that's the first word. Then right next to the word trite, you have to write the word sentimentality. Sentimentality, and you should practice to say it, okay? Sentimentality is good practice for your tongue, okay? Sentimentality, all right? Meaning too much emotions or based on feelings and just emotions. That's not good for us, guys. We don't want to be run by our emotions and feelings. God wants us to think. That's why the Bible says, come, let us reason together. Thinking, okay? Not just feelings, okay? All right, that's word number two. Then the word number three, onto our nugget number three, is frivolity. And that's a big word, frivolity, meaning it lacks seriousness. It just plays around, okay? <laughs> It's just you playing, talking about nothing, okay? Talking about nothing. All right, so that is nugget number three. Put the three words together and then put them in some sort of shape, okay? But you have to remember, remind yourself that we need to avoid music that has these three things. So maybe put somewhere, I'll put mine at the top, I'll put the word avoid, okay? Now let me show you what I did. Let me show you what I did. Uh, I can't see myself now. I've disappeared. Triangle? Yes, I made a triangle. Can you see it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I lost that something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a triangle, dude. Why are you, okay. why are you dissing my triangle? I tell why it's not nice. Okay, nice so what I, triangle. <laughs> okay. what I did with my triangle, guys, I wrote avoid at the top in brackets. Then I wrote the three words at the bottom. That is our third nugget, okay? That is our third nugget. We've got two more to go and I've got two minutes to have been doing this. So I hope you wrote that down. We're going to the next nugget. Let me find somebody who's gonna be reading for us. Basitsana, I see you. Can you see me? And I hope you can hear me. Unmute your mic. You're gonna be reading for us nugget. Number four, okay. An Adventist will check the rhythm, modern melody, and harmony of every style of music to make sure it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't do the senses and and ran our love for things that are good and holy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for reading that big, big sentence. Ah, guys, that was a big sentence, right? And so many words in there. 
But here's the most important thing I want you to pick up from that. It says an Adventist will check the rhythm of the song, meaning the beat, okay? That do 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 do. We have to be careful of those, all right? If you remember what happens to your brain, we're going to talk about that also. Check the melody, meaning the way the song goes, okay? The way the song actually moves, the way we sing it. And then the harmony, meaning the way the other instruments come in or the other voices come in. We have to make sure we check every style of music to make sure it doesn't ruin our senses, okay? So what I want us to write, the words I want us to write in there is check, right? Check, meaning C-H-E-C-K, check, okay? Check, and then write style underneath, okay? Write style. Those are the important words. Check the style of music, all right? And then... You, what else? What words are important there, Antiofa? Can you help me? Uh, it doesn't dull. The word is dull. D U L L. That's another word that's important. Dull. Check the style of music. All right. Making sure it doesn't dull. All right. And then next to dull, you write senses. Senses. Okay. Senses. Meaning it doesn't dull our senses, our ears, our brains, all the senses, okay? And then um, two other words, uh, three other words in the same nugget, okay? You're going to put love and then write four, like the number four, love, four, good, and then holy. Those are the words that are important in nugget number four. Now, there are many words there. So the words you need are check. You need, um, it's check, style, dull senses, love for, good, and holy. And then you can put it in some sort of shape. I tried to make a circle. I tried to make a circle, but it looks more like a face. It looks more like a face now. It doesn't look more like a circle. So there it is. Can you see it? Yep. It yeah. Is. So <laughs> it's check, then style, then dull senses, and love for good and holy. Okay? So that's nugget number four. That's what an Adventist has to be careful about. Okay? Um, I see people having to be readmitted i guess the internet is bad eh yeah I think. yeah okay all right i hope you guys have written nugget number four and put it in some sort of shape okay now i want everybody i'm gonna stop sharing my screen right now and now i can see all of you everybody put up whatever you have drawn whatever you have put up on your screen like that and let me see what you have let me see your nuggets okay let me see your nuggets all right, I can see some of your nuggets. Uh-huh. Cow, I'm not seeing your nuggets. Junior, you guys, I'm not seeing your nuggets. You guys are just moving the phone. Where are your nuggets? Okay. Jakong, where's your nugget? Zaza, well done. I can see that. Jessica and Jude, I can see. All right, lovely. Lubanzi and Lunati, I see you guys. I can see you've got your nuggets there. Ansel, where's your nugget, dude? Have I seen it? I haven't seen your nugget. Uh, now they are fighting to put up the nugget. <laughs> Katleho, okay. I see yours, Tako. I see Katleho as well done, guys. Well done. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. Basitan, I can see it. Well done. Well done, guys. I can see them. Okay, Bobo, I can see that. All right. Now, everybody, please, if you haven't done your nuggets, please finish them off. And remember what I said. Your job after class you have to cut out the shape, okay? Then stick it on your wall of sound. And very important, you can even make a big title, written wall of music, and then stick it also on the wall, and then stick these nuggets in different places. Color them in, make them look nice, okay? Make them look nice and creative, okay? All right, with that, that is where we will stop right now.
with the nuggets okay that's where we'll stop with the nuggets and remember we are doing part two of church music until if i came running in so okay all right so things are safe until if I, yeah okay all right all right until if i disappeared on me all right so listen guys now what i want you to do i'm gonna share something on my screen go back to your to your books where you take notes and stuff i'm gonna share something on my screen because I want you to remember, remember we're learning about music, but also we're learning how to read the music, how to read the music. So I'm going to share something on my screen. So everybody, make sure you've got the book where you actually take notes in, all right? All right. I hope you can see this. It's written, Solfa time. Solfa is do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. For those who are there for the first lesson, that is what Solfa is. I've got three notes there that I have drawn, okay? But they are not in solfa yet, okay? I'm going to teach you how to write them in solfa. Um, I'll start on Wednesday. For those who may not know, we meet on Wednesday at 6 p.m. to 6.30. So I'll start on Wednesday. And then also, I will continue also on Sabbath. But what I want you to do is draw these notes. The first one, is a big circle just a big circle okay i want you to draw it an empty circle that note is called a semi breathe write its name down okay write its name down it's called a semi breathe and for those who've done music before you will know that that is a long note it has four beats okay it has four beats so after you write Uncle, semi funny. yes Uncle Tony, you have already, already learned about it. I've already learned good. that in school. That's good. For those who've learned about it, well done, okay? This is just revision. For those who are new, don't worry. This is very easy stuff. You will get it. And it has four beats. Thank you for those who know these things already, okay? This will just be good revision, even for to use at school. But we need it to obviously sing the Lord's, you know, songs and stuff. So everybody, after you write semi brief, put your pen down. And I'm going to show you how long this note is. You're going to have to clap once and count to four, okay? So you're gonna clap and go one, two, three, four. And you do that by nodding your head, okay? That's what we'll do together. For now, ready? Everybody go, clap, two, three, four, okay? <laughs> All right, that's how a semi brief goes. It's four beats. So you hit it once, but you pull for four counts. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to do, let's do four semi briefs. Okay, ready? Join me as we do four semi briefs. Are you ready? Put your pencils down. Some of you are still writing. I'm looking at you. Mm. Ready? Go. Two. Three, four. The second one, two, three. Number three, two, three. The last one, two, three, and four. Okay, that's how a semi brief sounds like. Now we're going to try and sing it. Okay, we're going to try and sing it. So I want all of you, don't unmute your mic because it's going to get mad. Okay, do it at home. Just go. La, okay, you can do it higher, you can do it lower where your voice is comfortable, okay, but we're going to do it for four counts, okay, so we're going to go, la, all right, that's four counts, that's how long that note is, okay, are you ready, everybody, go, la, stop, you, all, you have to step on four, okay. Well done. Now let's go to the next one. The next note, draw the next note. It looks like a D that's not colored in, okay? It looks like a D, all right? It looks like a D. And it's called a minim, minim, minim. And it has two beats. And I know some of you already knew this. It has two beats. So it's shorter then the semi breathe okay and when you sing this one okay let's start first by clapping it you have to go one 
two. That's all you have to say. Let's go. One, two. All right. Last time, go. One, two. All right. Everybody's doing it. Okay. That's good. Now let's sing it. Okay. Let's sing it. We go for two beats only. Go. La. And you stop after two. Ready? Go. La. All right. Last time, go. La. That's it. Okay. That's nice and simple. The last note, the last note we're going to draw is it looks like the minimum, looks like a D, but you color it in. Okay. Color it in. And that one is called a crochet. All right. It's called a crochet. And it only has one beat. So, right? One beat next to it. Okay. Right? One beat. Right next to it. Right? One beat. Okay. So, you should have, if you look at my paper, I hope you can see it. I've got the semi brief, I've got the minim, and I've got the crotchet somewhere there. Okay. And it also has the beat numbers. Okay. Now that you guys have done all of this, I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that I can see all of you properly. I was only seeing you about nine at a time. Now that you've done this, a crotchet is very simple. You just clap and go up just once. Okay, everybody clap once. Go. All right. Last time, go. All right, Paco, you'll get to understand right now how it works. Okay, you'll get to understand how it works. Okay, so now that we have done that, ah, I've run out of papers. I need a board. Next time I should bring a board. I've run out of papers. <laughs> okay, so guys, we're going to put it all together. We're going to put it all together, okay? We've got two minutes. Then we have to go talk about what we sing in church. We're going to put it all together. We're going to sing two semi briefs, meaning two of the circle notes. Then we're going to sing two minims meaning the ones that have two beats each then we're going to sing two crotchets the colored in ones and i want you to draw this for yourself so that you can practice at home draw two semi briefs meaning two circles then next to them draw two minims okay draw two minims oh antofa is drawing them thank you antofa <laughs> And then also draw two crotchets. Auntie Ofa is actually drawing it for us on the screen. Thank you so much, Auntie Ofa, because she knew Uncle Tiny can't draw them on his screen because he doesn't know how to use his computer. Uncle Tiny is terrible, isn't he? All right, so Shaden, the last one. Aha. Okay, Tako, it's two semi briefs, not three, okay? All right, two semi briefs. All right. So listen, here we go. What's going on, Antofa? You are drawing. Oh, okay. All right. I see what you're doing there, but don't do that yet. <laughs> it will confuse us. Too much happening. Here we go, guys. We're going to clap it, then we're going to sing it. All right. So are we ready? Put your pens down. We're going to start off with the first semi breathe. Ready? Go. Clap. Two, three, four. Second one. Clap. Two, three, Four minimum clap, two minimum clap, two crotchet clap, clap. All right, you see how it goes. I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy. Okay, let's try it one more time. Let's try it one more time. Okay, remember two semi briefs, two minims, and two crotchets. Ready, go, clap, two, three, four. Again, clap, two, three, minimum clap. Minim, clap, crotchet, clap, clap. That's how they are. That's how they are. Okay. Now we're going to try and sing them. We're going to sing them to a do. Okay. A do. If you remember the sign for do, this is the do. Ah, uh, so we're going to put in a nice little key. I'm going to try and find a, a key for us. Okay. We're just going to do them as do's and we're going to sing them together. I'm finding a pitch pipe on my phone. I've got a pitch pipe on my phone. So it's going to give me a nice little key. And that's the key. I hope you could hear that. I hope you could hear that. It's very low. But it gave me a key. 
love. That's the key. So we're going to go do. Okay. All right. So we're going to go do. And we're going to pull it for four counts and then another do for four counts, then another do for two, do for two, and then do, do, which is one, one. All right. Are we ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Let's go. Do. Again. Do. Minims. Do. 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 Raise your hand if you manage to do it. Raise your hand if you manage to do it. Let me see how many of you manage to do it. Okay. All right. Well done. I can see some of you have raised your hands. Well done for those who could. Let's try it one more time. Give others a chance. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Let's go. Do. Again. Do. Minims. Do. 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 Stop. Okay. Well done. Raise your hand if you manage to. Until far, you can stop sharing your screen so that we can see everybody. All right. Okay. Uh, a lot of you managed to do it. Well done, guys. Well done. So this is what's going to happen. On Wednesday, we're now going to do, uh, if you remember the song, Jesus Cares, that's the one we're going to do on Wednesday. And then we're going to try and also do commandment number three on Wednesday. Then on Sabbath, when we get together again, for those who cannot make it on Wednesday, we will just revise them. By the way, if you can't make it on a Wednesday, just make sure you check out the video. It's there on our YouTube page, okay? Just go to our YouTube page, Uncle Twani. Remember how to spell it? Twani with an I-E at the end, okay? That's how you find our YouTube channel. And that's where you'll find the Wednesday program, okay? All right. Now, thank you, guys. That was our practical for today. We are now going to go to finish off part two of what we're supposed to be singing in church, choosing the type of music we're supposed to be singing in church. If you have any questions, okay, just hold them and we will ask them at the end, okay? I don't know if I can't ask them to demonstrate because I've run out of time, okay? I've run out of time. Um, my time ran out, I don't know how. Time usually runs in our class. Okay, so last week we spoke about church music or music in the church, okay? What kind of music are we supposed to be singing? How do we choose the type of music we're supposed to be singing? And stuff like that. For those who are not there, you can also go and find these on our YouTube channel. Um, look for the class from last week, okay? Usually I post them based on the date or the lesson number, okay? I don't know if I've started, yeah, check it, check it tomorrow. I think it will be up tomorrow on our YouTube channel. But for the other guys who have access to Facebook, you can also check it there. It's already there. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to share my screen, guys, because in the next 10 minutes, we're going to be writing one or two things. So look at your screen right now. And there we go. This is what we learned last week. Okay. Church music. And we're just going to do a quick revision. Then I go to part two, which is going to be the last one for today. Church music should always, number one, it should lead those listening to Jesus. That's very important to remind those who are listening about Jesus, okay? So don't just choose random songs that speak about random things. It should always point to Jesus. We are at church, okay? So Papa make sure you do that. Yes. We're still going to watch that video again. No, no, no. Today, <laughs> we are not watching any video, okay? No. <laughs> We'll go back to it maybe, maybe next week, okay, if there's time. But today we're not going to the video again, okay? We're going to skip the video, the scary videos. But I have to find you more so that, actually, I've got some other songs. We'll try them also on Wednesday. We'll see if we have time. All right, number two, number two. Let's go quickly. I don't have much time. When you choose church music, okay, it has to prepare the way for those who are going to listen to the message of God, okay? It, guys, make sure your music doesn't disturb people in their hearts and in their minds. That way they can't hear the preacher, okay? It has to prepare their hearts to listen to the word of God. Or if you sing after the preacher or after the lesson, you have to make sure your music is appealing, okay? It calls people 
to make decisions for God, okay? Don't just sing, don't sing happy birthday after the preacher, okay? <laughs> it's not a good song, all right? After the preacher, we need to sing songs that make people to want to make decisions for God, not happy birthday, okay? <laughs> all right, okay. All right, let's go to the next song. Let's go to the next song. I mean, the next, the next letter. It says, Mus church music should always be played and sung by those whose lives go along with the message they bear. Remember, this one is a difficult one and most people I know don't like it, but it's a very, very important, okay? Remember, I gave you an example. If I, Uncle Sonny was to come, all right, into class one day, all right, into class and in his hand, or, or Uncle Sonny visits your house after Corona is done. And Uncle Tony is holding, uh, you guys know what a cigarette is? A cigarette? This is a marker, but we're, oh. we're pretending that it is. Okay. And Uncle Tony is smoking, which remember in New Start, we learned we shouldn't do such things. And Uncle Tony is going, <sighs> and he's saying to you guys, don't smoke. Don't smoke. But yet he's, he's the one holding a cigarette smoking. Would you believe Uncle Tony? Would you even listen to him? No. Of course. No. no. Of course not. No. We wouldn't listen to him because no. why is he telling us to do some to do to not do no. something that he's doing? Oh, no. No. <laughs> yes. My dad smokes. My dad uh, smokes. <laughs> Okay, no, you don't need to say it here in class, okay? But remind him, teach him new start. Remember, it's, to remind him it's not good for us, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so that's why when you sing songs of God, you have to live the way God wants us to live so that people can believe you guys. You can't tell us to be good Christians <laughs> when you are not a good Christian. People don't believe you, okay? All right? So make sure whatever you are singing about is something that you actually live in your heart, okay? All right, that was number three. Let's go to number four. Church music should always remind or teach those who are listening of Bible truth, okay? Meaning whatever we sing about is supposed to be things that are true in the Bible. Don't start singing to people and saying after they die, they go to heaven. That's not in the Bible, okay? Don't sing about stuff like that. Make sure you sing things that are true in the Bible. Okay, just remember that. And then number five, which is the last one before I go to part two, it says church music should always be presented in a, caref a carefully planned and orderly manner. Meaning guys, you have to plan before you just go to sing at church. And I've seen it happen a lot where people just come into church and then suddenly say, I've got a special song. And then they go to sing and they forget the words while they're singing. And they say, ah, no guys, that's not how we work. it works at church. We have to take it seriously. Practice at home and then plan to go and sing when you are ready, okay? Don't just say, I've got a special song. And then you forget your words when you're in front, okay? <laughs> practice, practice a lot. Okay. So that was church music part one. That's stuff we learned last week. That's why I'm not taking too long on it. And very quickly, we're going to part number, and then we're going to part number two. Let me see if I can find part number two. All right, and this is the last part. This is what I want you to write for today, okay? And I've only got seven minutes for you to write all of this down. <laughs> so we're gonna have to speed. If you can, take a picture if you can, so that you can write it properly at home. Okay, it says church music should always be simple and melodic and be presented without disturbing movements, okay? Write those words down. It should be simple, it should be melodic and presented without disturbing movements. Simple means we need to be able to hear what you're singing about, what you're saying. Some songs are just so complicated that we don't even hear what you're saying, you know? Some people come in and go, and we don't hear anything they say, Keba. We don't hear anything they say, Melissa. That's not how it's supposed to be at church. We need to be able to hear you because you're preaching to us. Okay. 
So we need to hear what you're saying. Your words need to be clear. Your songs need to be clear. And when we say melodic, okay, we mean we should be able to follow your melody. Some songs are very complicated. They have so much happening in them that we can't follow what the person is singing about and we don't really understand it, okay? So guys, make sure your songs are simple so that we can hear them, they're melodic, we can understand them and we can obviously enjoy them and be blessed by your singing. Uh, sometimes when you make them too complicated, it's very hard for us to appreciate them, okay? So when you're doing stuff at church, remember, try and be as simple as possible and try and be melodic, okay? And then it should be presented without disturbing movements. Guys, we don't want to see funny things when you're on the stage, okay? <laughs> Are you guys listening? Uh, okay? We don't want to see funny, funny movements, okay? When I say funny movements, I see some of you every time you're on the, even when you join Zoom, that's what you do. You do funny things. Sometimes you join in and then you, you look, you check out your nose, you, you do this with your eyes. We don't want to have some of that. That's disturbing, okay? So when you're singing at church, try not to do funny things, funny dances. No, all right? Try and relax. Just be normal, okay? Be a normal person. Okay, just try and do things. Okay, let's go to number seven quickly. Number seven quickly. We have to give enough time for the preaching of the word. That is very important. That is important. Don't let music take all the time and then there's no time to preach. Okay, the word is what's important. Remember, okay, God's word is important. So make sure you sing enough. Don't sometimes, okay, the, the, we sing for a too little amount of time, but don't sing too long so much so that when it's time for preaching, we always have to say to the preacher, hurry up, hurry up. We are hungry. It's time for lunch. Okay, let's not do that. Okay, <laughs> all right. So that's number seven. Number eight. Church music should always have a balance on the emotions and our thinking. It shouldn't just get us excited, okay? So it has to have a balance for the emotions and our thinking. We shouldn't just get excited about the music, all right? For example, I always tell guys, you know the song we sang today, The Sea of Galilee? A lot of people love the song because we are doing all the actions, but I always ask them, do you guys actually know the story about the fish that had the coin that was in the sea? I hope you know that story, okay? I hope you know it. Don't just get excited about the songs without understanding where they come from. And I've seen it. Some people get so excited about songs, they don't even listen. Um, one time, there's a song that people sing about, uh, I am a soldier in the army. It goes, I am a soldier in the army. Na 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 na. Now, who can tell us the words? Who can tell us the words? Somebody quickly. Um, okay, I saw Kao. Kao, unmute your mic and tell us the words. Guys, I called Kao. Give Kao, okay. Give Kao a chance. Kao, unmute your mic. Let's hear you. It says, what does we it say? Well, are soldiers uh -huh. in the army. Uh -huh. We have to fight. The sun may have to die. Stop right there. We Stop right there. Over. Stop right there. <laughs> now did you hear that every time we sing that song everybody's excited we are soldiers in the army we have to fight and then it says though some may have to die raise your hand if you're excited about dying i want to see raise your hand raise your hand come on soldiers who are always singing and ready to die raise your hand <laughs> I see, Jack. <laughs> Very few of you have raised their hands, but we always sing it so excitedly. I've never seen people so excited to die, like people singing this song in church. All right. We, are, we got a hold to the gospel and we are so excited to die. It amazes me. I always think, are we actually even hearing the words? Okay. Sing them knowing what you're singing about. Okay. That's what we mean when we say have a balance. Okay. All right, the last one, the last one, the last one. It says church music should always be understandable and meaningful with its words and style, okay? It has to be understandable. We need to hear what the music is saying. We need to understand it, especially your words. They need to make sense. 
But most importantly also, be careful of the style of music that you bring, okay? There are certain music that is not good for us at all. And we're going to talk about that even later on. Remember, when we spoke about the power of music, we spoke about how it changes our brains and how it makes us act in different ways. That's why we need to be careful what kind of styles of music we're going to be bringing to church. So we're going to talk about that later, like what kind of styles can we use, what kind of styles we should be careful of, what we should stay away from, okay? There's certain music that should not walk in into the church at all, not even into your house. You have to be careful that it's not even in your house because it will draw you away from the good and holy things. Okay, guys, that is the end of church music part two. All right, next week, Sabbath, we're going to... I think we're going to talk about music in the home, okay? That is the end of our lesson. I hope you wrote that down. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Okay, so as we finish off, um, we're going to also, we're going to, obviously we're going to be doing some stuff, but let me give some announcements before we close, okay? The first announcement is thank you for all those who remembered to register for today. We're going to be getting together, remember, for the music concert for those who are in Khabaroni and near Khabaroni. And I am sad to say it is fully booked. Okay. We are actually packed already. We can't take any more people because Keba and Melissa, you are supposed to register. You didn't. Okay. But do we, but do this. Give us a call after this. Call until we can arrange something for you. There's someone who still has space, okay? All right. But for the other guys, those in Francis Town, those in Orapa, if you are in Kanye, wherever you are in Botswana, we're going to try and make an arrangement to visit you guys, okay? We're going to make an arrangement to visit you guys. Um, and I'm glad that I can My see mom isn't them. My home. Okay. Don't, don't, don't worry. We'll talk about that after. This is class time, okay? So okay. thank you. And I can see some new people who joined us. I see the Mudipane guys. Um, I see the Mudipane guys who have joined us today. Please wave. All right. Welcome. And it's good to see all of you and joining us for the first time. And I haven't seen you in a long time. Otherwise, guys, something very important that I also will tell you. I guess I'll have to tell you on Wednesday and Sabbath. Remember all the songs we did for the Century Series? We actually have them ready. Remember I told you I'll try and put them into a CD? I managed, okay? I got some help from other guys and we managed to actually record the CD, okay? And not just the CD, we actually made a DVD, okay? We actually have a DVD, okay? So they're gonna be available after today, okay? So we'll keep communicating as to how you can get a copy. Even as far as Australia, we can get it to you and I can figure out a way of getting it to you somehow, all right? Otherwise, guys, thank you for such a wonderful class. Thank you for being good students. Until Rufa, who's going to be praying for us? Guys, if you've prayed, don't raise your hand, okay? Loraco, Lord, stop raising your hand. You know you pray. Ask someone to pray, but they need yes. to join that church. Um, okay. Oh, it's Jagong. Is Jagong there? Hey, like, Jagong? Oh, okay. No. Who's here? He's here. He's back. It's Paco. Oh, Paco. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, the other guys, you'll get a chance next. Sorry. Can I start praying? How much is the DVD? Hold on, hold wait. on. I told you, wait. You are the guy who always rushes things. We are praying. We are praying, Anne. Wait. We are praying. Okay. okay. Let's bow our heads as yes. Paco okay. prays for us. Paco is praying. Paco is praying. Let us pray. Uh, Father, I thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day you have given to us. I pray, Lord, that you may guide us as we'll be, as we'll be doing other stuff as we are living with you. I thank you, Lord, for making, for making our ears to listen what Uncle Chani has taught us today. I pray, Lord, that you may bless the reading of his word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 All right, guys. Amen. All right, guys. 
Now, as I told you, I'll tell you how you'll be able to get the CD Amen. and the DVD, Anne. So how much is it? I will tell you after, Anne. Remember, I said I will tell you how you get these things, okay? <laughs> I know you are so much in a rush. Don't worry. You'll get to know everything. Let's just be excited that it's available. Okay. So with that, guys, thank you so much. And I was glad to see most of you. Remember, we meet again on Wednesdays for our midweek nugget at 6 p.m. That one's at Bye -bye. Is we finish at 6.30, okay? If you can't join in, you can also find it on YouTube. I always stream it on YouTube, okay? Otherwise, I have to go because I'm going to be helping out at the big church today. So I have to go. I'm not going to be here for long. So you can talk to Antirofa. So I'm going to be leaving the meeting um, in a bit. All right. Thank you, guys. You can say bye to me. I want to hear you say bye. Everybody say bye. 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 <laughs> all right i'll see you guys soon and some of you i will see you later at our mysterious place remember Ooh. our mysterious place you have to answer questions to know where we are eh? you can, so that we don't have to just make arrangements yeah, bye, bye. Yeah, bye guys bye guys